Hello everybody, this is Adam from Pyrograph.pl and uh, today as I promised we're gonna continue with the real flow demons and uh, we're gonna take a look how it's working, how it works uh, the display and deformer. So stay with me to see how the real flow display and deformer works in Cinema 4D. Let's begin. So we're here in the Cinema 4D and we're gonna just uh, add the spline and most of the uh, stuff most of the spline is working like all of them is working but in the helix I'm gonna show you the best uh, how this stuff works so we're gonna just uh, get the smallest radius and the biggest height because normally I think almost everybody wanna use this uh, as a something like going around the can or something like this go spinning something around something okay so let's go to the real flow emitters let's get the circle emitter let's uh, position circle emitter in the front of our spline I just using uh, just normal tools, rotation, all this stuff here. And this, uh, I always try to light up the first point kind of with the with the arrow here, which is pointing which uh, direction the emitter is working. And we go for demons here, and we're gonna add the uh, this spline. Okay, so we're gonna go for the for this view. We just push play, and as you see, uh, our emitter working. Let's uh, get the, a little bit longer timeline. It's working, but it's uh, not affecting our spline. So basically, what this uh, this spline it's uh, is doing it it's pushing through some uh, area of modifiers uh, particles through the spline. So it's like of uh, a spline wrap, kind of like spline wrap here working, but it's uh, going with the particles. So here, the this spline looking for the spline object, and that's gonna be the helix. And when we just uh, uh, throw the helix over here we see this control points okay in this moment is five but we can uh, get uh, a little bit uh, more if we want it but let's push the play and see what's happened something is happening but not quite much so let's uh, take a fast look how this can work of course here we got the uh, uh, force effect force and uh, velocity Velocity uh, is not working so much so quite well here. So always try to do with the force and we got here the global multiply uh, Forces, okay, so this is working like as a multiplier Okay, vortex strength is the strength of rotation to the right uh, to the left clockwise and anti-clockwise Okay, so when I push play if you want to see this I go uh, positive then it's working to the left, like you see, spinning this direction, and another way it's working to the right. So this is what the vortex strength it does. And I say this is the multiplier. Okay, so this is a uh, multiplying by hundred by spinning the force. Axial strength, which is the second one, it's uh, is the strength that's pulling the particles uh, close to, closer to the spline as a positive value and uh, pushing away. Like repulsion, re, repulsion uh, happening when it's the minus. Okay, so let's uh, let's see the vortex uh, strength is to zero, and axial strength, it's uh, now it's pushing to the spline, and now it's going opposite way. But uh, you're not gonna see so much on this one if we're not using the radial strength. And radial strength is the strength how it's going from one point to the next point. Okay, it's uh, this is the most important actually. So if you just gonna put uh, two thousand over here, then we can see directly how uh, particles are pushed from point to point, and then we got uh, directly follow the uh, the spline we just created. Okay, of course maybe this is too much. You can get uh, one thousand, and we we'll see what's happened. But that's uh, pretty stable, like you see. It's going kind of slow, but of course you can get the speed and that's what the actual strength actually does. So when you got like a small value, it's gonna speed up. If you want a big value, you see this is speeding up to the end of the spline. So let's say uh, 100. In this case, we got some escaping particles, but then we can uh, control this in a little bit different way. So you can see this is we can get the 50 and then we got the vortex strength, let's say 50 as well. So that's uh, everything is spinning 
everything is pulling towards uh, next point and we got some uh, simulation which is going pretty nice the escaping particles i think we can get the if we use the radial strength a little bit bigger we should uh, get them close together like you see they're not escaping okay so this is the global control of this uh, particles here and here we got the control individual and basically each of this point can be uh, modified by small numbers this is not multiplier this is the small numbers right here here we can get the offset of the point so if you want to affect uh, the points uh, the a little bit uh, uh, away from the from the emitter we can get it like here vertex like you see this is the vortex strength here we can uh, get the bigger vortex axial it's a uh, pushing from the spline this is the small numbers and radial as well we can get uh, only here so this is working on this point and the radius is the radius which is gonna be uh, affecting the particles if you wanna see how these things looks and how uh, affecting the all particles the flying just use the helper and that's the green line which is showing us the area where the particles will be affected if I get this big bigger the radius more like uh, the more area is gonna be affected okay so this is uh, higher and then you can get a, a small error and uh, also when you got this uh, the white selected that's mean this is you modifying this one but then you go you can go to next one and the helper and you can modify the the all this next one we can go like this or like this if they're escaping next one is this next one is for example this one and you can delete them for example and you can add one and you can move it which direction you want it and see uh, how this works so uh, when you push play all this stuff is working here and uh, this is the global and this is the individual points affected uh, of control of course we can get uh, a little bit for example a little bit of um, randomness we just get the uh, noise field here we're just gonna push maybe 200 this is the global thing of course but we can, uh, like you see, it's working, working, working a little bit, spreading out. So this is uh, something very, like, uh, more interesting. Of course, we can get uh, here, we can get the fall off, and we can go with the, for example, sphere, and that sphere can be affected, for example, only here. Okay, let's see if we we hit the the spot here. For example, on this uh, corner, I want to be affected by. Uh, by noise field and of course I'm gonna show you in, in some another upcoming tutorial what this noise field does but this is like kind of randomness uh, to the point when they come in like they're more spreading out and if you get the, a little bit uh, bigger value then you can see this going crazy so each particles when it's hitting this spot to see it's going away a little bit different if we get even bigger you see it's, it's more interesting only okay but this we're gonna focus uh, on the upcoming tutorial so don't worry uh, so this is how the this plan is working here remember like uh, to work uh, with this global here on this side we got the global control and he got individual radial strength uh, is the most important here but of course the other one uh, actual and uh, if we got this on of, of course on plus it's gonna work positive but the, then of course minus is gonna like you see push away in the in the in the back so it's gonna go to the back of this plane it's gonna go to some point and then trying to go back like you see slowing 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 down and now it's getting to kind of back so uh, make sure if you wanna go front that's a that's a front okay that's it for today I hope you enjoy you this uh, the real flow series of course drop a comments uh, like it if you want uh, make a suggestion what else is uh, what else I can do but we're gonna still fo focus in the, on the real flow so that's it for today and I hope you like it and yeah, I hope you're gonna use it in some kind of way in your project the Displine Real Flow Cinema 4D thank you for today see you in the next one <laughs>